Hello everyone and welcome to my backyard. I'm here with Camera Girl to do uh, what's in my bag with the Wotencraft Pilot 7 liter. Now I did this before when I was up in vacation up at Whistler with Camera Girl, but this time this is out and about in the city. Now there's been a lot of attention on the Pilot 10 liter because Chris Nichols from from DP Review, I think, uh, he, I think they actually called it like the best bag or best gear of the year but I think the 7 liter is better especially for EDC carriers like myself and perhaps yourself so let's start the video now and before I start uh, just here like M11 with my 28 Simicron that's kind of what I carry on my day off because you guys know the 28 millimeter is my favorite focal length and this is uh, my triple flat goose I think I did another video here with the with the jacket love the jacket thank you guys for sending this out to me and of course my revolver hat so I'm gonna put this uh, camera back into my bag here and kind of show you how I carry this on. I say my day off. It really wasn't a day off. I, we, camera girl, we did work, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. We did work, and so I had to bring two uh, review gear with me, and I did attach this Excel, uh, this extra pouch. Um, I'll kind of unclip it here so you can see it. I won't clip it back on again because it takes too much time. But you can see if you get close to your camera girl. This is Molly strapping here. And then these clips, uh, a lot of the uh, Wotencraft accessories will take this. So this basically clips on to whatever has a little loop through here. And so in this little pouch, you could put whatever you want. Because it's on the outside, it's something I either want quick access to and things that I don't mind. Like I'm not putting my wallet, but what I do have is just kind of like, uh, you know, tissue. I have tissue, I got uh, wet wipes. I have an extra mask, things like that if I need the quick access to. So I put that inside this little pouch that is attached to this front here. And then there's two sections that you can attach things as well. So that's what this is here. So if we get closer up here, camera girl, um, the first thing I wanna show you, I think I may have showed you before, is this fid lock. And this is cool. It's magnetically connected, but if you just slide it over, look at that. So it is an option. I think it's like 10 or $12. It's not a lot of money. Definitely, I would upgrade to this lock system. It's really convenient. And here on the inside, you can see um, I have my gloves here because it's still winter here up in Canada. And you can kind of see how this is set up. It, they do give you two of, of these, but I put one small one and one big sort of protect, uh, big little um, uh, divider in here. And so in here is where I have the M11 just sort of tucked right inside here. And it's a very quick access to the M11 right here. And in this section here, I have the Fujifilm X Pro 3 with the uh, square hood thumb rest and the Retro 40 York uh, shutter release. And on both these cameras, I have the camera film photo Kuda uh, Japanese silk straps, with which I love using. And so these, uh, this is what I'm testing. This uh, TT Artisan 17mm f1.4. And maybe I'll, I'll post one picture here. I was with Camera Girl. And um, yeah, I struggled a little bit to manually focus with this lens. I think maybe it works out better manually focusing on a true rangefinder and not a digital rangefinder. And I did find that focus peaking wasn't that effective. I had to go to just regular focusing, punch in, magnify, and then manually focus, just looking at the contrast and out of focus. So anyway, so that's kind of why I have this. So these two cameras were my two main review cameras that I had with me. And then in this little side pouch section, I have my, I've shown this many times, it's just my little man pouch with, um, all my little you know vitamins and toothpicks and dental floss and eye drops and things like that so i always carry a little mini dop kit like this and then here is actually by folklore folklore i'll put the link down below but this is kind of an edc pouch and in here i have my regular uh, spider co uh, delica wave uh, knife i have my space pen here by fisher i have my olight uh, flashlight and then a Swiss Army knife right here. So this is kind of the EDC. I can even just take this out and then put it in my back pocket or throw in my jacket. But these two pouches fit inside here in that little last section. So again, I'll just show you on the inside here. You can see how that's all set up here. Camera, camera, like so camera with lens, camera with lens, and then whatever you want to put inside. I could put it in the lens here. And as I showed you, I had my gloves in here before. So there's enough room, like about, two or three inches of putting other things up in here. And there is a back section here as well. So if you wanna put, let's just say you did have an envelope of cash or you had a, like, like an iPad mini or something, you can slip that in behind. And then you still have this front 
zippered section here, which is covered when you have it closed like this. So in this front zippered section, I have change pouch. I have uh, another little uh, dop kit. This is more of a tech dop kit uh, where I have like extra cables, uh, lightning cable, USB, USB cable, uh, S uh, lightning, uh, lightning to SD card, uh, headphones, uh, ear pods, stuff like that. So I keep this as well on me, tech, tech pouch. And I could still fit a lot more in here, but um, extra batteries, Zaid made, uh, Fujifilm battery holder, and you could put extra memory cards in here. So this is great. So that's what's in this front pouch section here. And there are also, oh, there's, there's even more stuff in here. I have the anchor, uh, the, the magnetic connector to my iPhone where I can charge uh, this wirelessly. So that fits in here. So I have a lot of stuff in just this little front section here. And this is something I neglected to mention when I was up at Whistler with Camera Girl is that there is a little secret compartment. If Camera Girl, you can get a little bit closer. In here is a little secret compartment and it's zippered, I think on both sides too. Yeah, it's zippered on both sides. So there's a pass through all the way through. So you can see like, my hand comes out the other side. So if you want to put something straight through, you can. And there was actually uh, an extra strap on the bottom that I removed. You could put a tripod or something, but I don't, you know, it's my day off. I'm not carrying a tripod. And when I walk, I find that it kind of makes a slapping sound. So I just removed it, but it does come with those extra straps on the bottom, but you could still put something past through here, but there is a, like a netting. I'm not sure camera can get really close. See that little netting in here, like a webbing netting. And in here, I just have like, a spare, oh, look at that, spare Leica mask right here. And I just slip that in here. So it's easy to forget, or easy, I mean, if you have this bag, it's easy to, to even like miss that there is a little secret pouch here, but there's a secret pouch. And then finally, the last section here is the back. And this is what I think almost every bag should have, which is, well, first of all, a zipper hood, which is nice, because this is a weather sealed zipper here all YKK zippers and you open the back and this is where you would put your wallets, right? So I say wallets. Um, I have like my little, uh, this is from Clever Supply, a uh, little wallet here where I put just cash. And then I have another wallet here, like a, just a regular wallet. And then I have a little notepad with pen, which I, I got from Japan with my business card. So that all fits in this little back section. And you know, especially when you're carrying cash or your wallet, you want it as close to your body and clearly you want it zippered. And so that's what's in the back here. And then again, the little zipper hood or whatever you want to call that. And then this is uh, a hero clip, which I love. Um, I'm not sure if I ever talked about this on my YouTube channel, but I'll show you how it works. So this just looks like a regular carabiner, right? Just like a regular old carabiner but it actually flips open like this. If you're sitting at a table at a restaurant, you're just hanging it off the, the edge of a table, or if you're just uh, in a changing room and there's not even a hanger or a hook, you can just hook this anywhere where you can kind of, you know, you can kind of attach on to something like that. So it's great carabiner with a hanging clip all in one. And I think they have like four different sizes of hero clip. And so this is the small size. And I find, I actually bought the one size smaller than this. It's too, a little bit too small. Some tables, they're too thick and it just doesn't fit. So to me, the small is the perfect size. And then we're all the way back to the front again. And finally, the there are two little exterior pouches here. Um, you can put your car keys. This um, elastic is so strong that I, I don't ever fear anyone sticking their hands in. In fact, I might even just like throw in like my gloves in here instead of inside. But uh, when I was out with Camera Girl, we used it already, but I had a, an extra shopping bag in here. Then over here, I have my sunglasses to look cool. And so that all fits in here. So that's a lot. You know, this is just out with Camera Girl. I had a little bit of work to do, but for seven liters, you could pack this out quite a bit or have like nothing on the sides, nothing in the front, uh, nothing in the back and still have a, a light, uh, camera bag that you can carry when you're out and about. And so, uh, Wotencraft Pilot 7 liter. I'm a huge advocate of this size. I could have got the 10 liter, but I decided to go with the Lightning Rider, which I've mentioned many times. And that's actually my favorite, kind of like my big sling bag that I carry around when I'm out and about and shooting. So uh, between the Pilot 7 liter and the Lightning Rider, those are my two favorite sling bags that I tend to carry when I'm out 
and shooting. So thank you, Camera Girl, for holding the camera. We're using my iPhone 13 Pro, and uh, we will uh, talk to you again soon. Oh, I have affiliate links down below, so if you want to buy any Wotencraft products, I got a little bit of a commission. Look for more reviews on Wotan Craft bags. I got a whole bunch of new ones I haven't talked about yet. They're business bags, which are really cool. And I'll do an unboxing and then I'll let you know what I think. But so far, they are awesome. So thanks for watching and happy shooting. Let me just focus here. Alrighty. Peace.